the 2K Sports pregame show. This is 2K Sports. I'm Ernie Johnson. Welcome to the NBA. We're joined by the legends Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. Tonight's broadcast will feature the Phoenix Suns as they go up against the Heat in Miami. Looking at Miami, they went 2-0 against this team last season, looking to continue that string of victories tonight. You look at the roster of the Suns for this season and the past few seasons, and you'll notice a common theme. Boy, they got a lot of guards. What do you think, Kenny? Well, it's nice to have a multiple of guys who can handle the basketball, do certain things, change things up. But, you know, sometimes that not having a lead guard hurts you down the stretch in close games. You know, and their decision to load up on guards was part of the reason why Drogic won it out. But having a lot of guards work for the uh, Golden State Warriors, they won a championship. Will it work for Phoenix? We shall see. Well, let us get down to Kevin Harlan. He's got the call. Arena look to cheer on the hometown heat for the Miami Heat they come into tonight's game after the loss to the Indiana Pacers and guys a loss like that that's one when you just got to put it behind you as quickly as possible you know that won't be easy Greg it's hard not to dwell on that type of performance looking at the starting five for the Phoenix Suns Tucker and Morris holding the forward spots Freak is out there at Bloodsoe and it's Chandler in at the center filling out the middle Here's Miami now. Wade on the wing. Fires the three. That is good. Wade's got the first bucket of the night. A three-pointer for the Heat. I tell you what, it's, it's almost like stealing to watch how he plays the game from this seat. Ludzo passes to Jeter. And Tucker has it in the corner. Pass to Freak. Let's it go with the three. And the Suns get it back. Here's Morris. Buries it from about 10 feet away. Just not enough bodies on the glass right there, and they paid for it. Well, Greg, I know you're a little guy, but you know what it means to box out, and it's an effort thing and a mindset deal. you got to get your body between that other player and the ball. Here's Young following the basket by Markeith Morris. And Young, here we go. Outside Dan. Let's the three fly. Can't get it to go. And Phoenix will come the other way. They come into this one having outplayed the Magic last game. And even in hostile territory as they were that day, they had no jitters at all. I mean, the confidence kept growing as the shots kept falling. And they were falling big time. I mean, from the top to the bottom of that roster, everybody was locked, loaded, and spraying jump. They really can't allow him too many open looks like that. I mean, that's just inviting trouble. Phoenix has gone 0-3 from three-point land. Nothing yet going outside. And it's Jeter missing. This is definitely a day he'd like to forget. He just hasn't had the energy or the intensity to get it done out there. He's still scoreless. And Young kicks to Dang. Off target with his three. For Phoenix, they've gotten only one of six shots to drop for them to start this game. Freak with it, and Young picks him up defensively. Shots good by Bloodsoe. A lot of times in the first quarter, it will dictate how big a role a player has later on. First quarter of ball, almost two and a half minutes in. And it's Wade penetrating. Can't get it to go. 
Nice D from Chandler. Phoenix has gone one of five from downtown in the first quarter. Points out there have been hard to come by. Bledsoe issues to Jeter. Feeds to Morris. Pass to Jeter. Shot clock at six. Another three for Phoenix. Well, you know, struggling offensively, he's got to be happy, guys, to see that go in. I mean, he had missed his five prior shots. The drive by Wade, and the basket good. Wade's got five. And it looks like he might just be on his A game today, Clark. Phoenix has gotten just two of six to fall from three-point range so far in the first. Jeter kicks to Bloodsoe. Chandler is screen. Good ball movement here by the Suns. He got an advantage there off the pick and took it right in. Freaks got his second basket of the game. Miami trailer. Wade outside. He feeds it to Bosch. Shoots from the baseline. Good work defensively by Morris. The Suns have gone four for nine from the field to start this game up. And that one's good. Boy, they've gone on this run, and ball movement has been a big key. It, it really has, Clark. The defense unable to react as quickly as necessary in terms of dealing with their passing. And stolen by Freak. And Phoenix pushing it up now. His three corners off the mark. The shooting numbers just aren't there yet in the quarter. Here's Dang. Good work defensively by Morris. I'm a fan of anybody who defends that way. I mean, they weren't about to open the door and just allow him to cruise in for a layup. Cheater the pass to Morris. And here we go. Fast break. Wade's got it. Here's Dang. It's good, and he drew contact on the shot, so he will go to the line. A three-point play chance here. The Heat shooting their first free throw attempt on the night. And team stats last season, 74% shooting. So some numbers that they can definitely improve upon. Now, here is Morris. 14 points from him the last game against the Magic in Orlando. Tucker dishes to Jeter. Shot clock at five. Out of bounds. Suns ball as Phoenix keeps possession. And really no choice but to lunge for that pass to make sure it didn't get through. Yeah, and that was important. Probably would have been a quick two points if he doesn't get a hand on it and knock it out of bounds. He's jacked up a number of threes, but his accuracy has been lacking. Time to try something different, if you ask me. Dang gets a wide-open look. The shot's good on the assist by Wade. And it's nine points for Luol Dang. And he found the perfect spot behind the arc there. Big gap in the deep. Wasted no time on that one. Freak's got a pair of threes now in the first quarter for Phoenix. Tit for tat right there, huh, guys? Didn't take him long at all, fellas, to get those three points back. Wade sets the pick for Bosch. There's a screen. He kicks to Young. Dishes to Wade. Bosch against Morris. No good from Bosch. Terrific job that time defending at the rim. I mean, it's not an easy task stopping that fella when he's headed to the bucket like that. Good job. Really left alone that time. And that's 11 points for Freak. They're getting a bunch of their points outside of the paint. Three of their last five buckets are from three-point range. And the defense is just not closing out quick enough. Now, here is Young. He had a 12-point outing in their last game against Indiana. Wade outside. Some solid D here from Freak. Suns leading by four. Right now we're going to go to Doris Burke, who spoke with head coach Eric Spolstra. What'd you find out, Doris? He told me that they'll have their work cut out for them, looking to score inside with the elite shot blocker and defender Tyson Chandler patrolling the paint. He said he was the defensive player of the year for a reason. He's got length, mobility, toughness, and the want to. He brings effort and communication defensively, and you can't forget about him at the other end either. An improved shooter, and he can definitely finish. Kevin, a ton of respect for what Chandler brings. Here's Wade. His last outing with 20 points. And Phoenix looking who they've got on the floor. Tucker and Morris holding the forward spots. 
Creek is out there with Brandon Knight. And it's Chandler in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. Power down with both hands. And the defense out of position on that possession, which allowed for him to get that offensive board. Well said. Yes, he did. You're right, Greg. That's a tremendous jam on the putback. What a great nose for the basketball he has, and such a strong finisher as well. The Suns have been coming through at the charity strip. They've made seven of their eight attempts. That's good from Tucker. Taking two shots. And so he's able to get one of two. The Heat trail by 15. Wade kicks to Dang. Good. Dang's got 11 points. Really good example there of some fine interior passing before that basket. Morris a screen. The dish to Chandler. Pass to Jeter. Right wing. And Tucker kicks to Jeter. Clock at six. Nice ball movement by Phoenix. Fires the three. Shot's good. He's got 17. And he does it again. What can you say? The defense continues to allow him to get open out there. They've got to know that he can knock down that shot. Put somebody on him. Wide side, the pass to Wade. Outside, Dang. Shoots the three. They grab their own miss. Well, it looks like he's cooled down a bit after hitting those two in the first quarter. And Freak throws it down. And it doesn't really matter who starts the break with how he runs the floor. He seems to always be the one who finishes it. Yeah, he is so fun to watch and how he attacks the rim at full speed like that, man. It's, uh, it's something to behold the way that guy gets to the rim. No good from Wade. You, you almost have to assume he's going to knock those down when he is that open. Tucker dishes to Jeter. And the Suns tack on two more. Can't stop this. Second quarter of play with around two minutes gone so far. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Sure could, Kevin. I mean, too many empty trips. They need some points. Oh, Maestro, he is so good at making those lead passes. Like conducting an orchestra. Got that one up quick. Morris has got his second basket of the night. And, and I like the job they've done with working the basketball. They've been moving and getting quality shots. And, Greg, their field goal percentage reflects that. I mean, they've been the much better team shooting the ball. And you know me, shooting percentage, always a function of shot selection. Here's Whiteside. Chandler with the block. And now the Suns, a fast break. Here's Morris. And the layup is good after a nice lead pass. Morris has got four points this quarter. And breaking down some numbers here, the hustle stats for the Suns. Great hustle defensively through the first half, contesting everything and racking up the block shots. Yeah, another thing they've done well, guys, a lot of steals in the first half. Really getting after it defensively. Jeter kicks to Morris. He dishes it tonight. On the wing, Chandler. Freak with it, now guarded by Ennis. The feed to Jeter. To the inside. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. And let's take a look now at some stats for Freak. Good season for him last year. Last year averaged 17 points a game. Five assists and two rebounds. And he's a threat to go off in any game from anywhere. Some guys just have the gift, and he's one of them. You need points? He's your go-to guy. And the first one at the line is good. Both shots good from the stripe. And a little under three and a half minutes elapsed in this second quarter of play. Wade outside. A floater. 
Shot by Ennis. Nobody around. That falls. Nice feed that time from Dwayne Wade. Wade's got his third assist on the night. Knight kicks to Jeter. Phoenix no good that time either. The Heat trail by 21. Ennis passes to McRoberts. Now here's Wade. He's covered closely. And it's Wade again missing. You know, he just hasn't looked right to me. A bit out of sorts, if you will. Something's off with his mechanics. Um, at least as I look at him. The field goal percentage has been bumped up into the high 50s now. And when you're shooting like this, you should be winning. They're scoring with tremendous efficiency. To the paint. And Chandler sends it back. Right into the lane. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. Let's take a look at the players who were the best on the glass a season ago. Number five is Hassan Whiteside. What a season he had in the paint. I mean, his rebounding numbers, really mind-boggling. Who wouldn't love to have a guy like that? And he makes the first. Young's checked in for Miami. Knight hits them both. The Heat have gone just 33% from the field in what's been a cold second quarter for them. Just three of nine. Ennis kicks to Wade. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. That's his first personal foul. This is his first trip to the line tonight. Had a success rate from the line last year of about 78%. Both free throws good from Wade. Suns leading by 23. Jeter kicks to Chandler. And the wide-open shot from Morris. From out on the wing, he knocks it down. Morris has got eight points. What a job he's doing here. I mean, his second quarter has been even better than his first. And that was pretty good. Wade drives in, and he gets it to go. Nine points in the game so far. You know, he didn't need to make the layup complicated. I mean, it's not a trick shot contest. But he decided to go for a little extra flavor on that one. Jeter dishes to Chandler. Knight passes to Jeter. Morris right side. Six on the shot clock. This one for three. And he sinks it from deep. Three-pointer good from Freak. Freak's got a couple of three-pointers in the second for the Suns. Wade kicks to Ennis. The drive by Wade. And he banks in the layup. Wade's got 11. Not phased at all by having a bigger defender on him down low than I really thought he would be. You know, at first glance, you wouldn't think that he'd be comfortable in that particular situation. But, well, I tell you what, he didn't look like he was out of his element at all right there. Derek Lutzos checked in for Phoenix. A dominating first half of basketball, and so far, hasn't been close. The Suns on top. They lead by 18. And now let's catch up with Doris Burke, who's standing by on the sideline. Doris? Well, Tyson, what has been the key to enabling your team to control the tempo of this game throughout this first half? I think the way we came out defensively, we locked into their sets. We're taking them out of what they want to accomplish. Because of that, we're able to make some shots in our end. It all came together in that first 24 minutes. Tyson, thanks for the time, guys. Thanks, Doris. And we'll be back shortly following halftime to get the third quarter started.
Hey guys, we've really taken the life out of this crowd, but I still want to talk to you for a minute. We've been strong on D and it's a huge key to where we're at right now. Our defense leads to offense and that sort of energy is what's getting it done. I do like how we've been able to draw a lot of contact and get points at the strike. Let's keep that up. Love to see him have to deal with some foul trouble later on. And let's try to play the second half at a moderate pace. Not too slow, but not too fast that it turns into a shootout. That's not what we want. Don't forget how dangerous this team is. No lead is safe against them. Let's not give them a chance to get back in it. And as we welcome you back, we begin our second half. So far, not a tightly contested game, guys, but you know, anything can happen. You look at Freak in this game, he has been everywhere. And you know, I'm not sure that he can continue to shoot the three as well as he has up to this point. He has been lights out. You know, sometimes, Greg, you have those nights where the basket just looks twice as large as it is. Grand Canyon size. It might be one of those nights for him. Third quarter action getting rolling right now. Brought to you by Gatorade. All fueled up and ready to go. Here's who's on the floor. On the floor for Miami. Wade and Dang are the two and three. The big men are Bosch and Whiteside. And it's Young in at the point. Good on the second free throw. Phoenix leading by 17. And keeping us updated from the sideline, let's swing it over to Doris Burke for an update. Hi, Doris. Well, Kev, Freak in the last matchup against the Magic delivered quite a performance. He had 70 points, and that was just the start of it, notching a triple-double for his effort in what was quite a display from him. Just absolutely incredible numbers from him in a game you didn't want to miss. So glad we were here to watch it, Kevin. Thanks for the great report, Doris. Uh, guys, uh, the way he carried them that night, I thought was truly incredible. Uh, unreal. I mean, he was literally on another planet in that game. He did it all the on the floor. What's well, interesting to me, guys, is to see how much energy he's able to play with here tonight. I mean, his legs still have to be a little heavy from that last game. Here's Chandler, and it's Phoenix scoring again. That's exactly what they wanted to do. I mean, you'd like to see that every time down the floor. Outside Dan. There's the pass to Bosch. Out of bounds, Phoenix takes possession. And a moment here to check out the numbers for Chandler. Last year, getting it done. Second in field goal percentage, and he did his share on the glass, battled his way into the top 15 in rebounds per game. And you pointed out his ranking as the second best shooter in the league last season. I think with a little extra work, he could actually become number one. And Tucker kicks to Jeter. Near the three-point line, it's Budsoe. Good defensive work there by Young. That's a shot he's got to hit. You don't get many looks better from that range. Whiteside sets the pick for Wade. Down goes basket number six for him this game. He's taken 12 shots and made half of them. He's got some serious momentum going right now. He's been great all day. Even last game, he was on fire. Jeter kicks to Bledsoe. Here's Morris. And a great assist by Bledsoe as that one goes in. Assist goes to and that's 15 points for Markeith Morris. The Heat trail by 19. Wade passes to Dang. With a floater. Goes back up. So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up and two shots coming up. Nice numbers from D. Wade. 16 points. Here's Young. Five points in the game. Outside Dan. Right side of screen. And Young kicks to Wade. Pass to Bosch. And it's Freak with the rebound. Freak's got his fifth rebound in this one. It's stolen by Wade. Kicks it to Young. Feeds it to Dang. Wade sets the pick for Dang. Four on the shot clock. Young with no one around. Nails the wide open jump shot. 
Young's got seven points. Suns leading by 14. Morris dishes to Jeter. The fader. And it's Whiteside with the rebound. There's no getting around the simple fact that that's a shot he has to knock down. Young outside. Knight against Wade. Here's Whiteside, and he jams it with authority. That pass into the paint. That is a work of art there. Dead on target. And a wide open look for free. That's good. The assist that time from Knight. Knight's got his fourth assist in this one. He shot the ball exceptionally well as they've built this lead for themselves here. Bosch passes to Dang, and he gets it to go. Dang's got 15 points. You know, of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is major smash mouth basketball, guys. It's all about imposing your will offensively, getting exactly the kind of looks their coach drew up. Talk about complete control. Everything working in this one for Morris. He's got 17 points, and he's been delivering a healthy dose of helpers, too. He really has, Clark. Always with his head up, looking to make the pass, trying to find the open man. Winslow's checked in for the Heat. Green comes in for Dwayne Wade. Phoenix also making some changes. Len comes in for Chandler. And Porter subbed in for P.J. Tucker. Green inside the three-point line. Phoenix grabs the miss. A slight rebound advantage for them. One more column in their favor, and it's all adding up. Well, you take a look at all of the stats, the team stats, that is, and that's one of the many areas that they've had the advantage. And as a result, they've got a big lead. Young left side. Winslow wide open. He fires. And again, Miami with the triple. The rapid fire threes coming from everywhere. Yeah, I'm not sure of the quality of that three-point shot attempt right there, going at it the way they did, but it all worked out for them. That's good. And that's 21 points for Markeith Morris. The Heat trail by 17. And Young kicks to Winslow. Bosch dishes to Young. Passes it to Winslow. Five to shoot. Phoenix grabs the miss. Knight's got his fourth rebound in this one. He feeds it to Jeter. From downtown, the rebound by Young. He'd have gone 8 of 14 on their shot attempts here in the third. Some pretty nice work. Now here's Winslow, guarded by Porter. From the line, Winslow shot is off. I'll tell you what, for what's really a... Got it. An elementary shot. He looked a little nervous on that release. Got that bucket in in no time at all. 37 points for Freak. Yeah, I love the communication and the chemistry between those teammates. Young passes to Green. He kicks it to Winslow. Right side of screen. Young dishes to Winslow. Over in the corner, Green. Three pointer. That's good. Green's got six. And he came off that screen, and the D just didn't get over the top of it. Yep, weren't there in time enough to challenge, Greg. And when that's the case, you can mark those up for him. Len, a screen. Knight kicks to Jeter. Nice ball movement by Phoenix. Here's Morris. Again, Phoenix. No hesitation. When he saw the space the D was giving him, that's two. The Heat trail by 18. Young passes to Winslow. Here's Bosch, and that one's good. He's got 10. Well, I tell you what, it's easy to get spoiled watching this fella. I mean, he just makes it look so simple. You got it. Let's get the ball Morris inside. outside. Knight dishes to Jeter. Pass to Morris. And he banks in the layup. Morris has got 25 points in the game. That's really told the story today, guys. I mean, throughout this game, they've been able to get the ball in tight and then finish. More active and more physical down low. That's what's really been the difference thus far. And he gets the bucket. And a big height advantage right there. You know, it's tough to bring a big man that far away from the goal, but that might be a mismatch they're willing to live with. And he gets it to go. 
Wow, got that one off right in the face of the big fella. Nice quick fire release. Yeah, and the mid-range shot really the only option in that situation. Sometimes when you're facing a bigger guy, you can't get it all the way to the rim. It's a plus five advantage for them in the rebounding category after that board. Very steady with their work on the interior. Really a well-rounded effort overall. That's a very good high percentage look right there. And Young kicks to Green. 102 left in the third. Fade away. Again, the Heat good for two. You know, maybe save that fadeaway move for when he really needs it. Suns leading by 18. Jeter the pass to Morris. Dishes at the Jeter. And two free throws coming up as he misses that one. Drawing the whistle and a lot of contact there. It's on Chris Bosh. Wow, this game just a commanding performance for free. 37 points, and he's buried a ton of three-pointers in this game, too. Hey, I think we need a calculator to keep track of just how many of those he's knocked down. A different look for Miami. Josh McRoberts has checked in for Whiteside. And it's James Ennison for Young. And a change for the Suns. Booker's checked in. Shots good by Bosch. They're not as aggressive from the outside here, but maybe they should think about stretching the defense a little bit, like they did in the first half. I mean, stretching the defense makes it easier to score inside, too. And the interior D is really starting to be exposed here. How many layups have they gotten today? There's Winslow. Booker pulls it in. There was just enough defensive pressure to get him off balance and cause that shot inside. to go awry. It's a four-second differential between the shot clock and game clock. Fires from 14, and it's good off the back of the rim and in. And that's now 27 points for Markeith Morris. Ennis dishes to Bosch. The feed to Winslow. Off target. And we're getting underway here in the fourth quarter. The scoreboard tells the story in this matchup, but we'll see how much things change up. Phoenix leading by 22. On the court now for the Suns, getting going here in the fourth. Jeter in at point guard. Chandler out there with P.J. Tuck. Then there's Bledsoe, and it's Booker in at the small forward. Ennis kicks to Dang. Uncovered. And it's Freak with the rebound. Freak's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. You've got to give them a lot of credit for the job they've done on the backboards. They've done a lot of things well today, but really it's about what they've done on the backboard that's at the top of that list. Ennis has got space. That falls. Nice feed that time from Dwayne Wade. Ennis has got the fourth quarter going with the first basket of the period here for the Heat. The Sun shooting 56% in this game, really stringing quality possessions together offensively. You know, that's a case there, Kevin, of him making a pass to a spot, and then he let his teammate run right into it. Well executed. They double him with Freak. Green kicks to Ennis. It's tipped. A few possessions into the fourth quarter, just over a minute played. Out to the right wing. Left side, Chandler. Bloodsoe outside. Now the dish to Jeter. And he gets it to go. Freak's got 41. And a look at how the hustle game has been going for the Suns. Their defense has been outstanding. Closing out on shots and blocking a few as well. You know, one other area they're doing well in is steals. I mean, they've knocked the ball loose a number of times and been able to track it down after the fact. Wade misses. The Suns have gone two of three from the field to get the fourth quarter started. Booker the pass to Jeter. Jacks up a three. No good. Now the Heat take it the other way. Second minute off the clock now in the fourth. Green dishes to McRoberts. Nice pass, nice catch, and a resounding dunk. The one-hand slam is so sweet when it's his hand doing the slam. Oh, yeah, he is so smooth, even on a power finish like that. And really, that's what makes him unique, that combination of power and polish. 
the heat shooting in this game 45 percent Ennis kicks to McRoberts, and the whistle blows on the backcourt violation. He went over and back. Yeah, foolish play. He's got to be thinking out there. Which he clearly wasn't on that play. Or maybe he was thinking just about something other than basketball. Well, speaking of thinking, back home, guys, we call that a good old-fashioned brain freeze. <laughs> Whiteside's checked in for Miami. Looking at the game Green has been having, he's got eight points, and he's knocked down a pair of three-pointers in this game, too. And maybe it's time for them to set a few more screens for him up top and let him add to that total. Young's checked in for Josh McRoberts. Getting to the stripe is something they've been doing a lot of in the second half, guys. And when you're behind, it's a good strategy. Not only do you get points, but you also get to set your defense. Well, I like the way they're sharing the ball and Bledsoe right in the middle of spreading it around. And Young kicks to Green. Five to shoot. Bounces high off the rim and drops. And he has starting to turn it on now after that slow start. Suns leading by 20. What's the right side? That's good. These defenders look overmatched right now, especially inside. Well, they've given up 10 of the last 12 points from close range. So I'd have to agree with you, partner. Wade kicks to Dang. The basket good off the assist from Wade. Wade's got six assists here tonight. Suns have gone four of seven from the field since the beginning of the fourth. Chandler is screen to the middle. It's deflected, and it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Green, and the Suns making a change here. Morris has checked in. He dishes it to Jeter. A tad short, but it's good off the front iron. Freak's got 43 points. This guy's putting on a clinic out there. Everything is sound and sharp and crisp. He's really the centerpiece of their offense. Bloodsoe against Wade. Goes up on the wing, and it's Miami with another. What handle. He broke the D down to the ground with that move. Suns lean by 20. There's the pass to Jeter. Misses the three. He'd have gone five of eight shooting as we've come down the home stretch in this final quarter. Wade against Morris. Eight on the wing. Just five to shoot. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Wade's got four points this quarter. I mean, already hot coming into the game. Is it fair to say he's hotter? You got it. Let's get the ball inside. Morris kicks to Chandler. Nice ball movement by Phoenix. Chandler with the screen on Wade. Ludzo passes to Jeter. To the middle. Here's Morris. And Whiteside sends it back. Young outside. Takes the 13-footer. And yep, finally drops after rolling around the rim. 26 points for Wade. You know, he's knocking down his shots today, but it hasn't really translated to the Let's scoreboard the yet. Wade against Bloodsoe. A double team blood zone. And it's out of bounds. The Heat will take it the other way. And, and that's just carelessness there. I mean, you have got to have your head in the game. The Heat making a switch here. Bosch is checked in. Here's Miami now. They're on a 14 to 6 run. Young with the ball. Out defended by Freak. Bosch, the screen. Young dishes to Wade. And it's Dang in the corner. Bosch against Morris. That's a two from Dang. And it's off the back rim. No good. Well, I think he kind of alligator arm that one. Short stroke. Uh, after doing a nice job to get open, he didn't finish the shot. 
Here's Morris. Sinks it from just inside the baseline. Morris has got 16 points here in the second half. Just carrying the load right now offensively, guys. He is not wasting any chances. From where I sit, Greg, it's a simple deduction. If they want things to be easy on themselves here late, make sure he has the ball. Well, that fast break went according to plan. Yeah, nice job there, Greg. Recognizing the opportunity was there to push it, and then excellent execution. Wade double teamed. And it's Whiteside off the drive. And that one's good by Bosch. We're seeing him bring that shooting percentage up now, guys. The first half was a struggle for him. Suns leading by 18. Here's Jeter. And stolen by Whiteside. And Young kicks to Dang. That's short off the rim. The shot's there for him, and he's got to take it. I don't care if he doesn't convert. That's a shot he has to continue to take. For Miami, they've gone 8 of 14 from the floor here in the fourth quarter. Out to the wing. Here's Bosch. It's hauled in by the Suns. Morris has got four rebounds in this game. Got it. Let's get the ball inside. Now, Freak. Pass to Chandler. Tucker with the ball. Let's it fly from 18. Morris, no good. You know what? You just cannot get much better of a look than that one. Exactly. I mean, no way you expect him to miss that shot. Timely passing leads to assists, and that's been the recipe for success. Everybody on the same page, completely in sync, tremendous communication and awareness. And they're really in a good position here, thanks in part to the way he's been able to score the basketball. Outside Bosch. Back to Young. Wade on the wing. Double team on Wade. Here's Bosch. Bosch with another miss. Suns leading by 18. It's stolen by Dang. And here we go. Wade heading to the hoop. And that is good. Wade's got 10 points in the quarter. That finish brings me back to the old days, the silky smooth he's finger tired. roll. Booker, he's checked in for Eric Bledsoe. Devin Booker. Phoenix has gone 0-3 so far in the fourth quarter from long range. Stolen by Wade. And another fast break chance here for the Heat. Here we go. That's good. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Yeah, and that's four straight field goals now, Greg. They've allowed from point blank range. Can't happen. And for the Suns, they're shooting 53% from the field in the fourth quarter. Can't ask for more than that from your offense. And he gets the bucket. 48 points for Freak. And what's gotten into him today? This is getting ridiculous. Find out what Doris Burke has for us. Yes, Kevin, during that last break, I heard Jeff Hornacek as he addressed his team. Offensively, he'd like to see them get the ball into the post as often as possible. That's where he thinks their biggest advantage lies. He also told them that he wants to see multiple passes on every possession. He said that was the key to getting the best shot each time down. Guys, we'll see how Coach's direction pays off as this one winds down. Kevin? Great. Thanks for the report, Doris. They get a bet. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. Yeah, you look across the board, it's actually sizing up, shaping up to be a great game. I mean, strong performances throughout, and they've really been strong on the glass. Kevin, he's missing shot after shot after shot from long range. But time running low, he'd be better off trying something else. Wade kicks to white side. Some nice ball movement here by the Heat. Here's Bosch, accurate with the jumper from the elbow. Bosch has got 10 points here in the second half. Just the height separation on that mid-range jumper. Excellent job of taking advantage. Kicks to Jeter. 
Now here's Booker. Wade is covering. There's Freak. And it's Whiteside with the rebound. Whiteside's got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. Young passes to Bosch. Feeds to Wade. Whiteside a screen. Down to five on the shot clock. There's the killer two-handed slam. That gives him the double-double. 11 points and 10 rebounds. A rim rocker. Look for a second like he might rip the cylinder it. loose. I, I tell you what, that is some grown man strength on that attack. No question as to which team gave the better effort tonight. A dominant performance and an outstanding win for the Suns. Looking at both these teams, they're great rebounders, and on any given night, you might not know who would have the advantage on the board. Yeah, but they did a better job tonight. They made the most of the extra rebounds, too. And with this effort tonight, grabbing their eighth win of the year. And so they'll take the first game of the season series, a team they'll only see twice. They're certainly happy to start it off with a win. And that next meeting, Greg, will be their second and final game of the season series being in opposite conferences. So you bet nobody wants to get swept even in a two-game season series. I think the next game will be hotly contested. And you have to look back at this and see the huge game it was for free. Every time he shot it, it seemed like it was going to drop in. And if it didn't, everyone was surprised. Here's what Miami's going with right now. Josh McRoberts has checked in for Whiteside. Winslow comes in for Chris Bosch. Ennis, he's checked in for Dwayne Wade. And it's Green in for Young. One kick kicks to Jeter. Shot from 12. Hits some rim on the way in, and the bucket's good. Freak's got 50 points. And they've just done a great job of keeping this crowd out of the game. And we're getting closer to victory. The crowd's getting quieter. And there's not a whole lot for them to be cheering about anymore. I mean, their guys got it handed to them. And so it's Phoenix easily grabbing this one. And in the win, a comfortable win in what was, I think, gee, a pretty hostile environment. It, it really was. You, you know, it's never going to be easy on the road, but they didn't have too many problems with that tonight. And a chance now to send you over to Doris Burke, standing by on the sideline. Doris? Side tonight. Did you feel like you could hit from just about anywhere on the court? Yo, yeah, oh, as weird as this sounds, at this point, I gotta say yes. Sometimes you just get so in the zone, you feel everything coming off your hands is going in. Yo, I got to that point tonight. And I hope I can find it again sometime soon. Well done. Kevin, a young man always looking for more. All right, Doris, thank you. And that'll wrap it up, folks. This is Kevin Harlan saying thank you for watching. Now we send you to the award-winning Ernie Johnson, who's standing by in our studio. The 2K Sports Post Game Show. Welcome back, everybody. Ernie Johnson here along with Shaq and the Jet as we present our Jordan Player of the Game, Freak. It was nothing short of a professional offensive clinic he put on today. He hit shots from every place he took them, and he took a lot of them to score more than 50 points. Ernie, that is the definition of domination. He took them to school tonight in every possible way. I know there's 10 players on the court, but I only noticed one. Seeing Freak dominate the way he did tonight reminded me of watching him play in high school. He was a man among boys. He was a four-time consensus All-American back then. Overall, great game. And that'll do it for our broadcast tonight. Hope you enjoyed the show. Uh, for me and, and Kenny Smith, Shaquille O'Neal, and Kevin Harlan, and the entire 2K Sports crew, have a wonderful evening.
It's the 2K Sports Pregame Show. Hello, everybody. I'm Ernie Johnson welcoming you to the NBA on 2K Sports. Excited. I mean, thrilled to be here with Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. I'm so lucky. Tonight, it'll be the Dallas Mavericks going up against the Phoenix Suns. And guys, for the Suns, they managed to take game one of the season series against this team, looking to seal their series advantage with a win tonight. And the topic here prior to tip-off, so many teams in the league going up-tempo these days. Kenny, as a player, did you like that style? I, I'm assuming you had to love it. Because the one thing about playing up-tempo, Ernie, it brings you back to the roots of the game, why you started playing. If you ever go to a pickup game, you ever go to a park game, no one's stopping play and calling plays. They're going up and down. The big fella Shaq, when he first came into the league, the first thing I saw was him grab the ball, coast to coast in the All-American game. That's what players want to do and people want to see. You know, that was a great example, Kenny, but towards the end of my career and most of my career, I was honestly more of a half-court player. I was pretty fast for my side, but my strength was my biggest edge. In the half-court, barbecue chicken alert. I had to put that work in, Ernie. That uh, about wraps it up for here. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you again later. That's the fifth barbecue chicken. Welcome basketball fans to a very special Veterans Day edition of the NBA on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg alongside and our sideline reporter tonight is Doris Burke. Home court advantage goes to the Mavericks playing here in the American Airlines Center. Take a look at the Suns. A great start of the season for them, playing very well so far. And, and they know they can beat these guys. They play three times this season, so a win tonight means they've locked up the season series. Do you think that'll give them a little bit extra motivation, Clark? I think it might, but more importantly, they just want to keep winning games, Greg. I mean, locking up the season series. Or better yet, sweeping the season series against this team is nice. All those things are just byproducts of taking care of business. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's check out who's on the floor, courtesy of Gatorade. On Phoenix, look at who they've got on the floor. Tucker and Morris holding the forward spots. Freak is out there at Bloodsoe. And it's Chandler in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. Jeter, good, and Bloodsoe gets the assist. And that's now six points for Freak. He can... be a weapon if he gets going early from long range. Parsons with a screen on Bledsoe. Harris dishes to Parsons. Back to Harris. Here's Nowitzki. It's good from about 19 feet. Nowitzki's got his first points of the game. I tell you what, it's, it's almost like stealing to watch how he plays the game from this scene. Tucker the pass to Morris. And a wide-open look for free. No good on the triple. That's a look you cannot pass up. It's also one you should miss. Harris kicks to Matthews. He feeds it to Nowitzki. They double-team Nowitzki. Shot clock at five. The shot's good from Sims. <laughs> well, Merry Christmas. I mean, that was a freebie. The Phoenix Suns come into this one after the win against the Heat at the American Airlines Arena. And they ran their offense nearly to perfection in that one. Uh, very few possessions were wasted. Yeah, they put the mute button on them that time. I mean, in front of a hostile crowd, they never let the fans get going. They silenced them over and over again with big, timely shots. And so here is Dallas. The Suns getting the bucket. Here is outside. Dallas needs to get off a shot. No good off the front iron. The Suns have gone three of five shooting the ball so far. And it's Bledsoe off the drive. No good. Now the Mavericks take it the other way. They couldn't put the pieces together, losing the last matchup with the Lakers. And you know what? A shame that either team had to lose that game because you had to be proud of the way they battled in it. Yeah, I suppose that's right, but it still was heartbreaking to I me. Mean, you hate to lose an OT. 
no matter how hard you played. You want to come out on top if you're going to play those extra minutes. Now Harris following the three-point attempt by Freak. Outside Matthews. Nowitzki sets a screen for Matthews to the inside. It's deflected. Bledsoe with it. An 11-point game for him in the win against Miami. And equally as impressive, the playmaking. Just sensational. The way he was seeing the court and making the game easy for his teammates. Now here's Freak. And the pass to Tucker. Takes the three. And he gets it to go. Tucker's got himself going with the triple. His first basket of the game. You know, the defense was lax right there. And he's able to make them pay. And it's Harris off the drive. Right side, Matthews. Takes it out to Parsons. Gets a very good look and converts. You know, I think when you've got somebody that open on the perimeter, a good shooter, the kick out's the only choice. To the left wing. Here's Freak. His three-pointer's off the mark. Even though he isn't having the best of games from the floor, it hasn't seemed to hurt him. Oh, that's a golden opportunity to finish on the break, and he blows it. Yeah, at this level, you got to make that shot. It's plain and simple. you got to knock that one down. The basket drops, and he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. All right, we'll take a look now at how the points have been generated so far. A scoring breakdown for Phoenix. They definitely had a hot hand from three-point range. Always nice to get off to a good start. The other thing they've had going for them tonight is their passing. I mean, doing a nice job. Plenty of their points early on coming off assists. Matthews, no one around him. And it's Matthews again missing. Suns leading by five. Freak with it. Picked up by Harris. This is the blood zone. Terrific design on the pick play. And he lays it in. Now, how about how he sets his man up there, runs him right into the screen, and then gets the basket. Pass to Matthew. And that one's good. His second basket of four, shooting 50%. Another nice bucket down low. They've really been able to work the ball into the post effectively so far. Yeah, and I think we're going to see them operating a lot of their offense from the interior today. The shooting numbers just aren't there yet in the court. Bledsoe against Harris. It's Matthews on the wing. And it's Matthews again missing. And now in transition is Bledsoe. Here we go. Good. Mavericks trail by seven. And let's get this update now from Doris Burke, who's across the way on the sideline. Well, guys, I was able to talk with Rick Carlisle for just a moment. In the first meeting, he said that he didn't feel his team was as sharp as they needed to be in their offensive sets. And that is what cost them the game. He told me if we can take care of the ball and execute in the half court like I know we're capable of, it puts us in a much better position to win against this team. Let's see if that's the case. All right, Doris, thank you very much. And getting good shots, guys. Creating those uh, quality opportunities is something Coach hopes to see here early on. And, and, you know, it's really something every coach wants to see. But I know where he's coming from. I mean, they've got to be smart with their shot selection if they hope to win this game. And, you know, guys, getting that good shot selection is going to depend on their ball and player movement. I mean, they have to be free-flowing, not stagnant. Ladies and gentlemen, And the Suns making a change here. Knights check in. Mavericks leading by 10. Harris is out there with Matthews. Then it's Johnson. Then there's Nowitzki. And it's Sims in at the five spot. That's the lineup out there for the Mavericks. And Chandler sends it back. And for those of you just joining us, we're almost two and a half minutes into the second quarter. 
Here's Freak. And the three ball is good. Freak's got nine. Kevin, he didn't hesitate that time. The D gave him a step, and he just pulled up and drained the three. Johnson dishes to Harris. There's the screen. Down low, Nowitzki, the pass to Sims. That drops, and it comes off an assist from Dirk Nowitzki. Sims has got his second basket of the game. Suns trail by nine. Right wing. Morris a screen, and Tucker kicks to Jeter. Another three for Phoenix. Those are starting to add up. Of their last five baskets, three of them have been three-pointers. And clearly, it's about how poorly the defense has played. They've got to close out faster. Now, here's Matthews. Nine points in the game so far. Pocket six. Back to Harris. Takes it from ten. Morris with the rebound. Phoenix has gone to the three-pointer 11 times tonight. Nailed five of them. No good from Bledsoe. And, and typically, he has the touch to finish when he's in tight, but not sure on that possession. Bledsoe against Matthews. Top of the key. He squares up and sinks it. Matthews has got seven now in this quarter. And started hot, and he's only gotten harder. Here's Freak. Another three for Phoenix. The defense a step slow, and you can see the results. Greg, that's three in a row from out there now, so they've got to do a better job contesting. Now here's Johnson. Nowitzki a screen. Harris dishes to Sims. Matthews with it. Now guarded by Bloodsoe. Sims the pass to Harris. Outside Matthews. And it's Matthews again missing. Suns trail by five. And Tucker kicks to Jeter. And it's Phoenix scoring again. You know, there's no better sign of how efficiently a team is operating than their assist numbers. And theirs are fantastic. Just beautiful when they play. They the can't game. guard us on the perimeter. Spread the floor and isolate up top. Spacing, fellas. Spacing. for him last year second in field goal percentage and he did his share Mavericks leading by three. Harris kicks to Matthews. He dishes it to Nowitzki. The fadeaway. Rebound by the Suns. Well, I think the defense got lucky right there. I mean, he's going to make a lot more of those than he misses when he's got that much room. Morris right side. A picture-perfect screenplay, and the jumper's good. Morris has got his first bucket of the night. Excellent ball movement there, guys. And that's keyed this run. Passing it with purpose, the D hasn't been able to keep up. Now, here's Matthews. He had a 21-point outing in their last game against the Lakers. Kicks it to Nowitzki. 
cannot hit. So Phoenix will take it the other way. Their last encounter was in Phoenix. In the last meeting of these two teams, they were really sharp defensively, disrupting the flow of their offense and causing a ton of turnovers. Very satisfying performance, Greg, and one they'll look to repeat tonight. I mean, they ended up winning it going away. Here is Matthews following the basket by Freak. Matthews into the lane. Nowitzki, no good. Phoenix has gone 6 of 12 from outside. A very nice 50% mark. Shooting the three ball well. And I like how he puts himself in position there to finish on the break. Yeah, you know, that's what we call seeing and feeling the game. Excellent read of how that play was going to develop and where the ball was going. That's stuff that you oftentimes can't teach, Greg. You know, far hard from start to finish on that play. Defended the shot and then finished it off with the rebound. Chandler with a screen for Bloodsoe. Baseline J on the way. Again, Phoenix. You know, the defense has got to do a much better job of fighting over those screens. And Greg, especially when the ball is in his hands. I mean, come on now. You know he doesn't miss too many open looks like that. And the basket by Harris. And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with the way they work down low. It's becoming a theme in this game, Clark. They are piling up the points in the paint. And there's the call on Chandler. That's his first foul. Just impressed with the teamwork out there, setting the table for one another. Five straight baskets, Greg, resulting from assists. They're playing as one unit out there. Catching up on the changes for Dallas. Festus Azili comes in for Henry Sims, and Evan Fournier is subbed in for Matthews. And Phoenix also making a switch. Booker, he's checked in for Eric Bledsoe. And the call will be against Fournier. That's his first foul. J.J. Barea has checked in for Dallas. Phoenix also making some changes. Alex Lenz checked in for Chandler. Humphreys comes in for Markeith Morris. And it's Otto Porter Jr. in for P.J. Tucker. Here's Nowitzki after the Suns pick up two. And the shot is good. Nowitzki's got six. Booker dishes to Jeter. Suns moving the ball around to the wing on the left. And Booker kicks to Jeter. Now here's Berea. 11-point game is last outing. Johnson for three. Another miss by Johnson. Suns leading by five. Jeter the pass to Porter. The feed now to Jeter. Inside. Porter dishes to Jeter. Pass to Humphreys. The rebound by Azili. And you know what? That's one of those heat checks if he's taking shots like that. Yeah, heat check or not, I don't care how hot he may or may not be. He's not making that one. Berea, no good. I guess even he has. He took this one of those once in a while. Took him no time at all on that one. Porter's got the lead up to seven now for Phoenix. And the crisp passing has opened things up for them offensively. Ten straight points off assist. That's very impressive. And it also makes the game easy and fun to watch. And they're able to recover. Walker inside. Defended by Nowitzki. So the whistle blows on the shot. And two free throws for the contact right there. Talk about being on this game. Look at the numbers for free. He's got 21 points. You talk about the three ball for him? Wow. Unbelievable from long distance. <laughs> there have been some fireworks from deep today. Boy, he is just dangerous out there. And the Mavericks making a change here. Parsons has checked in. Brandon Knight, he's checked in for the Suns. And Doris Burke has something for us. Hey, Doris. Well, Kev, Freak in the last matchup against the Heat delivered quite a performance. He ended up with 50 points and was just on point from deep sinking what seemed to be an endless stream of threes. Numbers like that make you anxious to see what he can do next time out. All right, Doris, thank you. We played at a level that very few players are capable of playing. And, and, you know, I'll be interested to see how much he's got left in the tank. I mean, that performance had to take a lot out of him. Yeah, but you know what? Sometimes supreme confidence can increase your stamina and endurance, so... I'll be interested to see how that affects his play. Solid job by them on the glass here tonight. Plus eight in rebound. You know what? That rebound has always been a critical element of the game. And that's why as they are now understanding how to win. Mavericks trail by nine. 
They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've had a number of empty ones. A long time without a basket. Here's the fights on your right. Here is the 2K leader with the list of last season's top three-point shooters. Freak number one. Well, for him, it was one of the best years he could have behind the three-point line. A dream year behind the arc for this guy. He was the number one three-point shooter in the league. Now, here is Knight. Over to the left wing. Porter. Up they get it back. Out left to the wing. The dish to Jeter. And he can't extend the lead to double digits. Dallas has gone 1-6 from three-point land in the second quarter. Less than 20%. But they've continued to let him fly. To the middle. Berea kicks to Azili. And it's good. Fought through contact. Hits the shot. He'll go to the free throw line. What a play there. The hoop plus the harm. Yeah, great concentration there, Greg. Hung in there. He didn't let that contact throw him off at all. Stayed focused on the rim. Knew he was going to get hit and still was able to finish. Yeah, way to play in attack mode and get to the line. And, you know, the defense gets their money's worth on that foul. Stopping the layup and not giving up the and one. The Sun shooting their sixth and seventh free throw attempts tonight. Yeah, and, and fairly decent a season ago, about 77% from the line. Mavericks trail by nine. Correa, the pass to Fournier. Got a hand on it. And, and, and really credit their advantage on the backboard. That's where the lead has been built, and that's why they are in control. Craig, simply controlling the glass. I mean, plus 10 is the advantage in rebounds right now. He's having one of the best shooting days that I can remember from outside. He's on pace for some kind of record. He kicks to Azili, and the shot is good. Azili's got four points in the quarter. It, it really does make the game easy for your teammates when you can lead them to the rim that well with the pass. Yeah, you're making things far too easy for him when you let him get it that deep. I echo that. Ditto. I mean, you've got to do your work early to try to keep him out of the post. Fight him a little bit. Keep him away from that spot he wants. And so it's Dallas with him. Following the score by Phoenix. Dallas moving it around. No one covering. Boy, that's a really nice feed by J.J. Barea. Suns leading by 10. Knight kicks to Jeter. Let's it go from the wing. That's good. The assist that time from Knight. Knight's got his third assist on the night. Strong work for him at the offensive end, helping them to maintain that lead. Passes to Parsons. That misses would have counted had it gone in. And that does it for the first half of play. Suns ahead. They lead by 12. And time now to go courtside as we send you over to Doris Burke from the sideline. Doris? Kevin, we just witnessed what was an amazing offensive display from this guy in the first half. Where did that scoring explosion come from? Uh, I don't really know. To be honest, I was just looking for a chance to get my shot off, and I just happened to find them over and over in that first half. So, I don't know. I'm sure they'll make some adjustments, but until then, I'm just going to keep attacking. Kevin, an interesting response. Over to you. Thank you, Doris. We'll be back after halftime as the third quarter gets underway. Hey guys, listen up. We've got a good lead, but lots of basketball left to play. Passing has been outstanding. You guys are playing smart team basketball. We've got to continue to share the ball exactly as we have been. I did like the scoring punch we got off the bench. That heated things up for us when we had to have a little something extra. And let's try to play the second half at a moderate pace. Not too slow, but not too fast that it turns into a shootout. 
That's not what we want. That's it for now, guys. Let's go get that W. We begin the second half. First half wasn't even close, guys, and we'll see if there is a comeback on our hands or more of the same as we get the third quarter started. You look at Freak in this game, he has been everywhere. Hey, yeah, how about that first half? He's already scored more points than he averages on the season. Yeah, he's on pace for a monster game. It's too bad he can't score like this every night. Mavericks trail by 12. And on the floor for Jeff Hornacek starting the second half. Tucker and Morris holding the forward spots. Ludzo is out there with Freak. And it's Chandler in at the five, roaming the paint. Now here's Nowitzki. Fires from the line. And it's Phoenix with the rebound. Chandler's got his fifth rebound in this one. Not only is their lead big, but their advantage on the boards is huge, too. They've been the aggressors, plain and simple, outworking them, fighting for every loose ball. Here's Morris. The 12-point lead, their biggest of the game. Four on the clock. Bledsoe dishes to Jeter. Good, and Bledsoe gets the assist. Bledsoe's got three assists now in this one. Maverick shooting here, about 46% for the game. Harris against Bledsoe. The shot by Sims, no good. Out to the wing. Tucker with the ball, now guarded by Parsons. And it's Jeter missing. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time getting the lid off the basket so far. Here's a Sims, and he drops in the layup off the glass. Sims has got his third basket of the night. Yeah, starting the second half nicely there. Love those easy lay-ins to get things going. To the left side wing. Cheater the pass to Bledsoe. And he floats in for the easy two. Credit the assist on that one. Another gap in the defense found there, and they've really had their number today. And it's Harris off the drive. 
Yep, it goes in, and the Suns' lead is cut down to 12 points. The points that time coming from Sims. And we always talk about making your teammate better. That assist was right on target. Now here's Bledsoe. He's got eight, and it's Jeter missing. Uh, how about him there just bodying him up to make him alter the trajectory on that shot? Definitely some very sound defense played on that trip. And there's the call on Chandler. That'll be Mavericks shooting a troubling 38% in the third. Not the finest work of this offense. Here's Berea. Rejected by Lynn. And now Porter pushing it up. No one back to stop him. That's good. The assist that time from Knight. Knight's got his sixth assist on the night. And guys, let's get your take on the hustle stats for Phoenix. Their defense has been outstanding. Closing out on shots and blocking a few as well. They haven't wasted time getting the ball up the court tonight either, and it's resulted in a lot of fast break points. Five on the clock. Here's Parsons. Misses off the right iron. Phoenix leading by 12. Feeds to Jeter. So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up and two shots coming up. And checking out the numbers for Brandon Knight. How he did last season. Last season put up about 12 points per game. Five assists and three rebounds. And this is the kind of strong, right, steady play you like to see. He's earning his keep and helping them win games. And guys, they're finally getting the consistency they wanted to see from him. Look for that to continue. Now, here's Berea. There's the pick. He feeds it to Azili. They get a hand on it. Stolen by Len. Stolen. And Fournier kicks to Azili. Knight dishes to Jeter. Knight passes to Jeter. And the call will be against Chandler Parsons. That is his first foul of the game. That's his first personal foul. Knight kicks to Jeter, 13 feet away. That's good. The assist that time from Knight. Brandon Knight. Knight's got his seventh assist in the game. And here's Berea. The pass to Azita. And now we have a chance to check out Free here. A very nice season for him last year. First in three point shooting, and he was such a reliable option offensively finishing in the top 10 in field goal percentage and you're right not only did he dial it up from deep all year he did it with tremendous consistency sun's leading by 15 porter with it and it's johnson picking him up and it's jeter missing and you really thought that was going to be a gimme but unable to convert yeah and a little self-talk angry self-talk for himself after that miss Here's Knight. Soft touch off the glass. Knight's got his second basket. Well, there you go. One team operating on all cylinders at either end, steals fast break buckets, and the other team scrambling to find its game. Great point. I mean, that aggression has allowed them to just create a lot of havoc, and boy, are they taking advantage. Here's Fournier. Brandon Knight picking up that last basket. Six to shoot. And the shot is good from Johnson. The Sun shooting 44% on their field goal attempts in quarter three. Jeter dishes to Porter. Morris a screen. Now here's Freak, guarded by Berea. Now Freak. Second chance shot. And Morris with the lay-in. Morris has got six. They are just killing them on the interior. Yeah, you can't say that with enough emphasis. I mean, the defenders are just not being aggressive enough down low. You got to play with some physicality in the paint. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. And on the flip side, Greg, the defenders have to show more fight on the interior. They've got to offer more resistance here. Now here's Johnson. Six points for him. 
Perea, no good. Dishes it to Porter. Out of bounds, out Dallas out. takes possession. Dallas With the break of the action, here is the 2K leaderboard to show us the league's best shooting teams last season. The Suns, number one. They were remarkable in terms of their efficiency on the offensive side of the ball. I mean, they did a great job of finding the open man and working for great looks. Really just an unselfish group. P.J. Tucker, he's checked in for Porter. And there's the whistle. Fouled hard on the shot. He'll go to the line. Alex Lang picks one up. Now is shooting their fourth and fifth attempts at the free throw line tonight. And look back a season ago. They, they did a solid job at the line, about 79% of their free throws. You know, something you can point to when you're talking about their areas of success last season, free throw shooting. Now here's Freak. He has 38 in the game. Here's Morris. And he buries that one, drilling the rim on the way down. Morris has got six points in the quarter. His shooting has been outstanding. <laughs> Definitely one of the reasons they're up in this game. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. Azili. Again, the miss by the Mavericks. And Phoenix pushing it up now. Heights running. Pass to Freak. Fires from deep. That's good. The assist that time from Knight. Knight's got assist number eight now on the night. It's been about tempo and pace with this group. And, and at the end of the third quarter, a huge lead in this one may already have been decided. Suns ahead, delivering the blowouts. Don't go anywhere. The final quarter is coming up next on 2K Sports. And thanks again for joining us. Let's see what happens here in the fourth. Matthews out there with Nowitzki. Then there's J.J. Barea, and then there's Henry Sims, and it's Harris in at the two spot. That's the lineup out there for the Mavericks. Barea, the pass to Matthews. Jacks up a three, and it's Phoenix with the rebound. Freak's got three rebounds so far in the game. Wide open. And a kind roll that time off the rim as that one falls. Freak's got 43 points. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball move. Really a prime example of the difference in how these teams have operated offensively. Much more individual play at the other end. And he'll shoot free throws here. Clearly fouled on that shot that time. The whistle blowing. You look at what Sims has done so far. 12 points, and he's also got one block to add to the mix today. Yeah, and that's just a small part of what we've seen, but it's been a solid contribution defensively. Looking at who's out there now for the Mavericks. Washington's checked in for Nowitzki. And Lures subbed in for J.J. Barea. Phoenix also making some changes. Chris Humphreys has checked in for Alex Land. Warren comes in for P.J. Tucker. And it's Booker in for Eric Bledsoe. Harris outside. He dishes it to Sims. Matthews into the lane. Drops it in from 11 feet. Well, you can bet the defense wasn't expecting that kind of razzle-dazzle out of him. But the spin worked like a charm. Perfect. Now here's Freak. Defense right on him. Down low. A nice shot by Booker. That's their third straight make off an assist. <laughs> Great ball move. Harris kicks to Lewis. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. I mean, even from over here, you can see that one pretty clearly. No question about it, Greg. I mean, a ton of contact and a good call by the officials. Mavericks making a switch here. Nowitzki's checked in. Morris is checked in for Phoenix. P.J. Tucker comes in for Warren. Getting to the stripe is something they've been doing a lot of in the second half, guys. And when you're behind, it's a good strategy. Not only do you get points, but you also get to set your defense. Jeter gets the bucket. And we're seeing the shots start to fall for them now. Yeah, exactly. I mean, this has been an extremely efficient second half for them up to this point. Matthews with it. Working on Booker. Dallas, no good that time either. The Suns have gone a perfect 4-4 four four to start the final quarter. Can't ask for anything more than that. And it's Harris off the drive. Kicks to Lure. Here's Matthews. Plenty of space. 
and it's Matthews again missing. Well, Phoenix shooting has been outstanding in this game at 58%. Now, here's Tucker. Defense is right there. And yes, sir, that one drops. And that's 10 points for Markeith Morris. And that kind of sums up the defensive effort we've seen here tonight, guys. Novitski left side. Rebounded by Tucker. Tucker's got six rebounds in the game. Good ball movement here by the Suns. The baseline J. Mavericks with the rebound. A bit under three and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth. Here's Lure, covered by Morris. Count the bucket. 17 points for Wesley Matthews. The, the mid-range jumper is a high percentage shot for him, and when he's got that much room, forget about it. Jeter kicks to Booker. Tucker dishes to Booker. Inside. Here's Freak. 11 feet out, and he hits it. Freak's got 47 points. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. You know, the defense, Greg, has really been kept off balance because of the outstanding passes. Four straight field goals have been made off an assist. And stolen by Freak. And up the court come the Suns on the break. Freak with the ball. Devin Harris. That's his first personal ball. First one falls for him. Perkins, he's checked in for the Suns. Quarter comes in for P.J. Tucker. Both free throws good from Booker. Impeccable from the line since halftime. No misses yet. Uh, you can't do much better than that, guys. Lure the pass to Harris. Nowitzki sets a screen for Harris. Here's the teardrop. Right side, Matthews. Just five on the clock. And it's good from the elbow. Matthews has got 19 points. That's a very crafty move right there. When you're giving up height, it's time to unleash the fadeaway. And there's the feed to Porter. Back to Chandler. Out to the right wing. Out to the right wing. Booker dishes to Jeter. Shot from free throw range. No good off the back of the rim. Well, I think he kind of alligator arm that one. Short stroke. Uh, after doing a nice job to get open, he didn't finish the shot. Suns have gone six of eight from the field in the fourth so far. It's been a great start to this final quarter for them. So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up and two shots coming up. Yeah, nice strong finish there. Nearly a three-point opportunity. Full throttle, pedal to the metal, attacking basketball. I like that. Both free throws good from Booker. And the Mavericks with possession here. Harris outside. Pass to Lewis. Back to Harris. Wesley Matthews on the wing. Launches a three. And there's Devin Harris on the assist by Matthews. Seven points for Devin Harris. The D just sagged off just enough and no hesitation on his part. Chandler is screen. Now here's Booker. He's covered by Matthews. Chandler is screen. Jeter kicks to Porter. Let's go. Phoenix no good that time either. And he rushed that one, no doubt about it. The D out of position, you can see the frustration on his face. Matthews having a good one. He's got 19 points, and from long range, he's hit one three-pointer. And when it's all said and done, I got a sneaky suspicion he's going to have a few more. Fournier has checked in for Dirk Nowitzki. And Phoenix also making a switch. Chris Humphreys has checked in for Tyson Chandler. Here's Booker. The dish to Perkins. Porter in the corner to the paint, tipped away. Now the Mavericks moving it up. Here's Fournier, defended by Booker. And a foul on the shot. He'll go to the strike for two. That's his first personal foul. 
and that one falls for Fournier. Henry Sims is checked in for Dallas. Novitski comes in for Lure. And the Suns here with a different look. Tyson Chandler is checked in for Perkins. Morris comes in for Chris Humphreys. P.J. Tucker, he's checked in for Otto Porter Jr. And it's Brandon Knight in for Booker. Knight kicks to Jeter. Chandler, the pass to Tucker. On the wing, Chandler feeds it to Jeter. Shot clock at three. Tucker dishes to Chandler. Jeter. And they force the shot clock violation. Great team. Parsons checked in for the Mavericks. Chandler Parsons. Dallas has gone one or two from three-point range here in the fourth. And it's Harris off the drive. Here's Sims. Basket is good. The assist from Harris. Harris has got his seventh assist in the game. We've seen a noticeable improvement out of him since halftime. He didn't have a whole lot working in the first half. Jeter gets the bucket. He's doing it all for them right now on the offensive side. No matter what the defense has done, they haven't been able to find an answer to stop him. And he's had an answer for every defense he's seen. Here's Harris. Knight grabs the board. Knight's got four rebounds now tonight. Just not much success when it comes to shooting. Now here's Freak. D right on him. Six on the shot clock. And he finishes nicely on the layup. Freak's got 51. And he's starting to show that killer instinct this quarter, looking to extend the lead. Parsons outside. He kicks to Matthews. Some nice passing here by Dallas. And it's Harris off the drive. Yeah, easy call. Yeah, you can hear the smack all the way over here where we are. And that one misses. A different look for Dallas. Azili comes in for Henry Sims. And Fournier subbed in for Wesley Matthews. And then for Phoenix, Chris Humphreys has checked in for Morris. And Porter subbed in for P.J. Tucker. And that one's good by Porter. Again and again, they're dissecting the defense and creating those high-percentage looks from inside. And even under pressure in close, I think they've still done a good job maintaining concentration and converting the opportunities. And stolen by Freak. Down low, here's Knight. Shakes off the strong D and gets to the bucket for two. And now we can see them really working it inside. Yeah, Clark, quality looks at the rim. That's fueling this run. They double him with Freak. Humphreys against Nowitzki. Shot to stop the run. Lays it up, and in spite of the excellent defense at that. That's what I call a captivating move there. He absolutely incinerated the D with that one. Passes it to Humphreys. He feeds it to Jeter. Stripped away. And it's the Mavericks on the break. The shot's good from Fournier. Fournier's got four points now in the quarter. The Sun shooting has been outstanding in this game at 58%. Chandler a screen. Jeter kicks to Chandler. Out tonight. Now here's Freak, guarded by Harris. Shot clock at five. It's Knight with the drive from outside the arc, and he nails it. The three-pointer falls from Freak. Freak's got 54 points. And he got loose from the three-point range in the first half and showing signs here that he's still got the flow in the second. Nowitzki a string. Harris kicks to Nowitzki. Chandler with the defensive effort. And no excuse there for missing that one after being freed up by a great pick. Yeah, I agree with you. I mean, they came away empty, but they got the look they wanted. And really, I, I've enjoyed, I like the movement and communication there. Now here is Harris. He's guarded closely. The pass to Nowitzki. Basket is good. The assist from Harris. Ten points for Nowitzki. And as we head to the final buzzer here, a crushing blowout. Big-time dominance, and, and this will go in the record books as a gouty win for Phoenix.
And this was one that never really was in doubt, I thought, Stephen Clark, uh, an all-around dominant performance. Clark, and you kind of thought that maybe even going into the game. I certainly did, and they just cracked it open and made it an NC. No contest. Yeah, I like that. And they took charge when it counted, and they'll be notching their ninth win overall. And, and they've taken control of the season series. This brings them to 2-0 and oh with one game left against this squad. And believe you me, they'll be gunning for the sweep in that third meeting. And beyond the actual result of this game, fans are going to look back and, and see this was just a monstrous performance for Freak. There wasn't much they could do to slow him down as he was converting every good chance he got. And the first one drops. And the Mavericks making a change here. Perea's checked in. And the Suns also making a change. Warren's checked in. And both free throws good from Freak. 40 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Perea, the pass to Parsons. They double him with Freak. Parsons against Humphreys. Parsons' shot is off. The shot's there for him, and he's got to take it. I don't care if he doesn't convert. That's a shot he has to continue to take. Out left to the wing. Porter dishes to Jeter. Over in the corner, Warren. Over to the wing. Pulls up from the corner. Missed. So it's the Suns winning easily here. This crowd was stunned by the manner in which their team was dismantled. You know what? Shocking. I don't care what the matchup is. You never expect a road team to come in and just cruise for the kind of win they did tonight. And now we'll send it down to Doris Burke, who's standing by courtside. Well, big numbers for you on the offensive end. How were you able to consistently get your shot? Uh, it was all about working with my teammates to open up scoring opportunities. Not just for myself, but for all of us. The more chances we get as a team, the more we all score, the better off we are in the end. Well done. Kevin, over to you. Thank you, Doris. Great interview once again. And that about wraps it up. For Clark Kellogg, Craig Anthony, and Doris Burke, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for tuning in. Now time to head over to the studio where the award-winning Ernie Johnson is with Shaq and Kenny all standing by. Guys, take it away. The 2K Sports Post Game Show. Thank you, Kevin. And now let's move on to the presentation of our Jordan player of the game, Freak. It was nothing short of a professional offensive clinic he put on today. He hit shots from every place he took them, and he took a lot of them to score more than 50 points. You know, Freak was a 4.0 honor student growing up, and tonight that high IQ is one of the things we saw on display with that sensational performance. Combine his smarts with the fact that he lives and breathes basketball, there's no doubt that he's one of the most intelligent players we have in this league. It's all about the production. I mean, nothing really phased this guy tonight. He was the primary option. They needed a bucket. He delivered. He didn't have any problem scoring. They never really had a way to slow him down. Come on. And that brings us to the end of our broadcast for this evening. For Kenny Smith, Shaquille O'Neal, Kevin Harlan, and our illustrious 2K Sports crew, this is Ernie Johnson saying good night, and we'll see you again soon, but not soon enough.